Hello, good day friends. Today we will be making a presentation on the design and implementation of four other circuits on an FPGA development board. The agenda for this presentation is laid out as follows. Introduction to full other circuit. Modeling full other circuit using VHDL. And lastly, implementation on Artex 7 development board and verification of the hardware we have designed. Let's jump right into the presentation. Others are everywhere in digital circuits. They are, in fact, among the basic building blocks of any digital circuit. Others are basically circuits that add bits. A full adder adds three bits of number, A, B, and a carrying and generates two outputs, sum and carry. On the left is the truth table of the circuit. We will use it to verify our hardware after we have implemented it on the kit. On the right side is the logical circuit diagram for a full adder. As we can see, we need two XOR gates, two AND gates and one OR gate to realize a full adder circuit. The equations relating the inputs and outputs of the full adder circuit is given here. We will use this equation to model our circuit. In the next section, we begin the design of our circuit. To begin, go to Start menu and launch Xilinx Vivodo. In this presentation, we will be making use of version 2018.2. After it opens, click Create New Project and wait for the new project wizard to come up. Click Next. Give the project name as Project 3 and Next. For the project type, select RTL Project and Next. Ensure the target language and simulator language is set to VHDL. Create a new source file. Specify the name as full adder. Click next. Then next again. In this part we specify the target board. Category is general purpose. Attic 7, 4 family. Package is CSG 324, speed is minus 1. Select the last on list and click next. Before clicking Finish, review the project summary then click Finish. Wait for the new project to be initialized. Click OK. Then Yes. Wait for the source pane to be updated. Now we are ready to enter our design. Minimize all other windows so as to expand the editor. Now we enter the VHDL code for a full other circuit. Now the code is complete. The next step is verification of the logic by simulation. Go to the Project Manager pane and find Run Simulation option. Select Run Behavioral Simulation and wait for the simulation to load. Minimize all other windows to expand the simulation area. Then right-click on the values of the signals and choose force constant. In the window that comes up, change value radix to binary. Change force value to 1 and cancel after 10 nanoseconds and OK. Do the same for other input signals. Then run the simulation again for 10 nanoseconds. As we can see in the wave window, the output value corresponds to the truth table of a full adder. Go to Flow Navigator and click Open Elaborated Design. This will take some time. This diagram shows the resources and pins in the attic 7. Now we can plan the pins accordingly. Click on IO ports and expand all ports. Change the IO standard to of most 33 for all the ports. Then map the ports to physical pins of the target board as shown here.
you can check the logic circuit inferred by the synthesizer by changing from IO planning to default view. As you can see, the circuit closely resembles the full other circuit we know. Change back the view to IO planning and save the XDC file by Ctrl plus S. Specify the file name as full adder. Go to Sources pane and expand the constraint directory. Verify that the file appears under this directory. The next step is synthesizing the design. Go to Flow Navigator and click on Run Synthesis. This will take some time. A pop-up appears after completion. Run implementation from there. This will run for some time. From the pop-up that appears after completion, click on Generate Bitstream and OK. This also will run for some time. After completion, select Open Hardware Manager from the window that comes up and click OK. Wait for the Hardware Manager to load. Now is a good time to connect our FPGA. We will implement our design on an Artex 7 FPGA development board. Connect the board using the JTAG cable to your computer and power it up. Now under the Hardware Manager pane, we try to connect our device. Click on Open Target and follow up the prompt to connect the hardware. After clicking Finish, verify that the hardware has been successfully connected under the hardware pane. To upload the design to the board, Click on Program Device and wait while the HDL is uploaded to the board. In next part of this video, we test and verify the actual synthesized hardware. In this final part of the video, we briefly test our full other circuit. You can see how the pins are mapped on the physical device. Observe the inputs and outputs and verify with the truth table of the full adder. To conclude, in this presentation, we have studied the following. Other circuitry. We saw how it is designed in VHDL including simulation, synthesis and implementation. We studied how to configure an FPGA kit and upload our design file to the kit to implement our hardware. Finally, we verified the implemented hardware by giving logical inputs and cross-checking our output with the truth table of full other circuit. We have come to the end of this presentation. Thank you all for listening.